Now, what is intellectual property rights? See, intellectual property rights is one thing which the people around me or the student community around me should understand properly. See, the, the young generation of today, more than reading books, they have that ability or their brain has ability to come out with innovative ideas. Around us, we have many students who have come up with beautiful projects which are very useful to the society. So, what is IPR? Legal rights aimed at protecting the creations of an intellect such as inventions, the appearance of products, literary, artistic and scientific works and science and such things. Okay, So something that came out of my intellect, if I know no one else in, this, in the world around me has found out the same thing, so my intellectual property can be protected. Okay, And that is called I. PR. Okay, legal protection given to my intellectual property. And that is patents, trademarks, copyrights, trade secrets. Okay. See, what do you call a patent? Now, if uh, one of my students finds out something which no one has yet found out. Okay. So let it be anything. Let it be anything small. Maybe my uh, student has found out a new coconut tree climber. Okay. So whatever my student has found out, this patent gives the owner of the product the right to exclude others from making, using, selling, offering to sell and import an invention for a period of Okay, so I can get a patent for my product because I know it is exactly what I have found out using my intellect. Okay, and that is a right granted by the government to that inventor or successor in the title. Okay, and this is what you call patent. Now, patents are actually very different from trade secrets. The legally protected specific products from being manufactured and sold by competitors without the permission of patent holder. So if I have found out a new coconut tree climber, my competitor is not supposed to be selling or manufacturing or selling a similar product if I have a patent. Okay. Now, but there is one danger as we told about many things before, everything has got positives and negatives. What is the negative side of this? See, today everything is available on Google, isn't it? So once I get a patent, the public knows what I have found out. Okay, so if, if my student found out a new coconut tree climber, now it is public, I have obtained a patent, but people around me or other students can work on that and create alternate designs. Okay, so that is one negative aspect of getting a patent. Now, what is copyright actually? Now, copyright gives the creator of an original work exclusive rights to it, usually for a limited time. It is applied to creative, intellectual or artistic forms or works. Actually, copyright does not cover ideas and information themselves. It also covers the form or manner in which they are expressed. Okay, so if I have or if my student has uh, found out something which is original, which is not copied from anywhere, I can get a copyright for that creative, intellectual or artistic work by my student so that no one copies the work done by that person. Okay, and that is called copyright. What is industrial design right? See, it is, it is very clear from the word itself. 
an industrial design right or it's even called a design patent it protects the visual design of objects see i have already designed an object now i can get a industrial design right so that this design is not copied by anyone else so an industrial design can consist of a new shape a new configuration or composition of pattern or color or composition of pattern and color in 3d form containing aesthetic right okay an industrial design can be two dimensional or three dimensional it can be used to make a product in the future it can be an industrial design for any other industrial commodity or a handicraft okay so generally speaking uh, it is what makes the product look appealing and as such it increases the commercial value of goods so if i have an i have an industrial design which is my own intellectual property i have the right to get design patent for that object now what do you call a trademark what is a trademark see a trademark is a recognizable sign design or expression which distinguishes products or services of a particular trader from similar products or services of other traders see we are all aware of objects see if we look at advertisements that we see in tv in media every product has its own trademark isn't it it will be a recognizable sign design or expression which see uh, when it is very easy to recognize a bmw or a benz isn't it because bmw has its own trademark benz has its own trademark so every product has a trademark and that is what when you see the trademark you can understand yes this is a benz yes this is a bmw such things are very easy to it, it is only for one particular product and that is called a trade mark what is a trade secret similar to a trade mark see uh, we all know uh, uh, coca cola has its own formula of preparing soft drinks and it is a big trade secret this trade secret it's a formula it can be a practice it can be a process it can be a design for an instrument or a pattern or compiling information so if coca cola has a trade secret how to make its soft drinks it is going to remain a secret there is actually no formal government protection granted but each business takes measures to guard its own trade secrets see we have heard about ice cream companies uh, you know of uncle john ice creams actually uh, uncle john ice creams owner he was working in a very big old ice cream company of india while he was working there he decided to use that secrets that he learned from there and he started this uncle john ice cream so this such many companies if you see you can understand many people who have been working in certain companies they have clearly got the trade secret of that company and they have made their own companies and they have flourished and become rich businessmen of the future 